Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to showcase my new 8 foot long blue tongue sneak enclosure. I shouldn't say new technically because that's actually two enclosures I already had that I conjoined to make an 8 foot enclosure, but it is what it is. Before we get started, I ask that you please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all the good stuff, and with that, let's go ahead and get started. I have done a lot of enclosure tours on my page before and I want to do this one a little differently. Instead of just showing off each part of the enclosure and talking about it, I thought I would let Haku give you a tour. So Haku went from a 4x2x2 by two by two Zen Habitats to an 8x2x2 by two by two Zen Habitats, which is just two of the 4x2x2 by two by two enclosures combined. If you're interested in an enclosure from Zen Habitats, I have an affiliate link with them below and I really appreciate you clicking on it. She's actually on top of another set of 4x2x2s that will also be getting the extending treatment in the future, but they're currently empty, although they will not be for long. If you're on Patreon, you know. Haku's enclosure has two hotspots, both halogen bulbs, and she has a 6% T5HO UVB bulb by Arcadia. Be mindful of your temperatures and UVB output with a temperature gun and a solar meter, both of which are linked in my Amazon shop. Blue tongue skinks should have a basking spot around 100, and given that Haku has such a long body, I actually have one basking spot that's heated with two bulbs. One is a deep heat projector, and one is a halogen, to provide a larger basking area. Make sure you use temperature regulating equipment like thermostats or dimmers depending on your setup. I have additional basking spot for her just because the enclosure is so long, it can be a challenge to have proper ambient temperatures with just one basking spot. Plus, having two means that she can choose which is her preference. As for UVB, I stick to a range between 3.0 and 4.0 on the solar meter. Many people have successfully kept blueies without UVB, but it's not my preference. For all of your lights, make sure that you have them set on a timer to come on and off the same time every day. For substrate, Haku has organic topsoil, washed play sand, eco-worth, sphagnum moss, and cypress mulch. Because blue tongue skinks are long, heavy animals, it tends to get packed down and looks like it's less than it actually is, but a good fluffing, either by me or by Haku, makes it look full again. This mix offers good burrowing material for Haku and keeps the humidity at an ideal range of 50%. She also has loads of cork bark tunnels and hides, grapevine logs, a water dish, some fake plants scattered about, and rocks to bask on or to smear worms on, whichever her preference is. Haku had a vet appointment recently, and I showed the enclosure to my vet, and she liked seeing Haku zooming all around the space. I actually showed her the clips that you're seeing on screen now, and she was really liking them. Now, you might be wondering, especially if you've never kept a blue tongue skink before, would they actually benefit from eight feet of space? Is my skink actually going to use all eight feet? And from my experience, yes. Though there are some days, or even some times of the day, where Haku was primarily buried, there have been plenty of times I have seen her utilizing all of it. From sliding around with her little legs all over the substrate or burrowing inside of it, to climbing and on her branches, getting inside of her water dish, whether she's basking in either of her basking spots, she will utilize all of this enclosure. In fact, she recently had a shed and her little shed scales were everywhere inside the enclosure, showing that she does in fact utilize all the space. I know that some people can be concerned about providing too much space to reptiles, and I hear that. I think that a lot of times when people don't have success with offering a lot of space to their reptiles, it's because they didn't put enough places that offer security or enough enrichment in the enclosure, and so their reptile will just stay in one place. So I wanted to make sure that the functionality of this enclosure would allow her to easily scurry between hides and underneath of driftwood so that she would feel safe and secure. I'm of the mindset that if you can, you should offer bigger to your reptile. And so because I was able to, I did. I have witnessed no negative changes in her behavior. She's actually been in this enclosure for almost two months because I wanted to give proper time so I didn't put out information in case it didn't work out for us. But she has had great behavior. She's been very active. She's eaten every single time I've offered food. She had a health checkup at the vet and the vet completely approved that she was doing well. And again, like I said, I showed the vet the enclosure as well, which was fun. But everything's been going really well. And so, like I said, if you have the ability to offer eight feet or any sort of larger spacing to your reptiles i recommend giving it a go and observing your reptile and seeing all like the positive effects that having a larger enclosure has on them and also just as like a caveat this is a northern blue tongue skink haku is a northern so everything i've said in this video is going to be specific to her species if you have a different species of blue tongue skink or if you have a blue tongue skink that is not able-bodied the care is going to be different 
And finally, I want to talk about Reptilinks. I've been excited to try Reptilinks for a long time, but just never got around to it. And then recently, a friend of mine reached out to me and asked if I would want to try a few different types of Reptilinks for my reptiles. And so here's Haku eating a quail Reptilink. I actually thawed this quail one for my garter snake, Mikasa, and she was in shed. So I was like, well, I'm not going to waste it. Let's see if Haku will eat it. And I'm genuinely surprised because Haku took it immediately. And Haku's kind of a picky blue tongue skink. She can be really picky. Like the food has to smell really strong or really gross for her to eat it. And she ate this straight away. And it doesn't really have a strong smell to me personally. So I was really surprised that she did it. And she really enjoyed it. So if you want to get any Reptilinks for you, well, not for you, but for your reptiles, make sure you use code just as animal friends. I will leave a link in the description. If you use that code for the first time that you order from Reptilinks, I will get a little monetary benefit. And that will go right into taking care of animals like Haku. So I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Haku's new eight foot long or not, again not new but it is new to Haku eight foot long enclosure if you enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a like a comment and please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell all the good stuff make sure you check out the links below and with that I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> Haku what are you doing did you climb up here all by yourself hmm why don't you come back now? Just give me that comfy. Here you go. <laughs>